Have you also updated your iPhone to the latest iOS 18 beta version as the iPhone 18 is almost here and many iPhone users has already installed the beta update on their iPhones but now everyone is struggling with the bugs as the iOS 18 is such a huge update which is around 7 gigabytes beside that we are about to have lots of changes including messages reactions customizing screen icons control screen looks quite different but now the thing is that there are a lot of bugs including heating up some apps are not even working and even most of the applications are crashing which is quite annoying so if you want to get back to the ios 17 version in this tutorial i'm going to show you step by step process to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 18 to iOS 17. So without wasting any time, the application by which you can downgrade your iOS device is called Tenorshare Reboot. No doubt, this application is one of the best as I have reviewed it before and most of my viewers are quite satisfied from its features and easy to use process. It's totally compatible with the iOS 18 version and also by this application, you can fix 150 plus iOS problems such as stuck at Apple logo or black screen etc. You can also reset iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS devices without passcode and iTunes. While well, before selling your device, this application will irreversibly erase data on your iOS device and it can also fix common iPhone and iTunes it like 4013 and 111. Zero. So the first thing is that you need to download your desired version from the link which I have given down below in the description. Install the application into a desktop or Mac and then just simply run it. Now you can see this is the main interface of Reboot application. It's quite friendly as you can see you can enter or exit into recovery mode by using this feature as we will be using downgrade and upgrade feature in this video while if you want to wipe your data completely which cannot be restored later on then we got an option for that as well other than that if you are facing any issues on your ios device then reboot will definitely fix that just connect your device and do the process as everything will be showing inside the application so just follow the method now let's jump to the downgrade feature first of all connect your iphone to the desktop and then just click on downgrade which is on the right side now the current version is ios 18 beta so let's downgrade it to ios 17 just click on the download button now first of all it will start downloading the firmware file which may take few minutes just make sure your device is connected to the desktop or mac and leave it for a while it may take around five to ten minutes so please be patient Now you can see the US 17.4.1 file is downloaded just click on initiating downgrade after that it will start installing the old iOS version and remove the beta one it may take a few minutes once again so just give it some time. Okay, so that's it. The iPhone is now started. Let's just quickly set up the iPhone and we are back to the old iOS version. You can simply disconnect your iPhone at this moment if you are so not satisfied from the iOS 18 beta version or official version which will arrive in few months then no worries you can give it a try but after that you can easily downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 by using Tenorshare Reboot application. I'm leaving the download link in the description just let me know if you guys have got any questions regarding this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.